Hello, library friends. Good morning. I have a fabulous, fun, new hello song for us to sing together. And then I also have a brand new storybook to share with you this morning. So our chant is going to involve an animal. And I've got all different colors of this animal, including some colors that it doesn't normally come in. Let's see. I'm going to give you some clues about what kind of animal our rhyme might have in it. This is an animal that doesn't make a lot of noise. It's got big flat feet and two tall ears that look kind of like this, like your two fingers. And it goes hop, hop, hop. Do you have any guesses about what kind of animal that could be? I think you might be right. I think it might be bunnies. Oh my goodness, a purple bunny. Have you ever seen a purple bunny before? Me neither. All right, let's find out what this bunny does. There's just one little bunny hopping in the snow. Along comes another one who says hello. Hop, 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 away they go. How many bunnies do you know? How many bunnies were there? That's right, two. A purple one and a yellow one. Here they are. Hello, bunnies. All right, let's try that again. And maybe we'll add another bunny friend. Two little bunnies hopping in the snow. Along comes another one who says, hello. Hop, 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 away they go. How many bunnies do you know? That's right, there were three. One, two, three little bunnies. A blue bunny got added this last time. Let's add one more bunny and find out what color he is. All right, here we go. We've got one, two, three little bunnies. Three little bunnies hopping in the snow. Along comes another one who says, Hello! Thanks for inviting me to story time! And what do they do? That's right, they all go hop, 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 away they go. How many bunnies do you know? I know four bunnies. There they are right there. Purple bunny, yellow bunny, blue bunny, and orange bunny. All right, I think they need one more friend. And luckily, I've got a thumb to fit that friend on. Here we go, let's have those bunnies hop in the snow. Even though there isn't any snow out right now. Just rain. Here we go. Four little bunnies hopping in the snow. Along comes another one who says, hello. Hop, hop. Hop, hop, away they go. How many bunnies do you know? Yes, that's right, there's five bunnies. One for each of the five fingers on your hand. A green bunny, a purple bunny, a yellow bunny, a blue bunny, and an orange bunny. I just made these finger puppets for the bunny rhyme. This morning, I just made kind of a bunny shape and colored it in with crayons. And then on the back, I have just a little loop so I can put it on my finger. So I bet you this would be a fun rhyme that you could make your own set of bunnies and make them whatever color you want. You could make rainbow bunnies if you wanted and do this rhyme at home with your grown up. Let's wave goodbye to the bunnies. Bye, bunnies. Goodbye. Hop, 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 hop. So 
today, with our story, we are going to get noisy. We are going to make some music along with a whole bunch of different animals for this book called Animal Music. What do you see on the front cover? Yeah, two big gray hippopotamuses, and they are playing the saxophone. Do hippos really play the saxophone? No, I didn't think so. But they're going to do it here. So this is Animal Music, and it's by Julia Donaldson, and illustrations are done by Nick Sherratt. And we are sharing this courtesy of Macmillan Publishing. Thank you very much for allowing us to share. Oh my goodness, there's a turtle tooting a trumpet on the end pages. He's going doo 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 doo. And here we have two brown and white bulldogs. They are playing an instrument called the clarinet. Here's a hedgehog, the cute little red bow tie. Hedgehog hums. Can you hum? Let's try humming a song together. I'm going to put my lips together and kind of sing behind my lips without my mouth open. And that's humming. Let's try Mary Had a Little Lamb. So hedgehog hums while squirrel strums. He's got his guitar. He's twanging along there. Next, we have Badger, and Badger bashes on the drums. He's got a whole set there, doesn't he? A big bass drum, and some cymbals, and a couple of snare drums. Awesome. He's tapping out the rhythm of their song. There's those two bulldogs. Bulldogs blow high and low. To and fro goes Bison's bow. Bison is playing the bass, a deep bass note, by pulling this bow back and forth across the strings. Turtles tooting. How many turtles? One, two, three. These are all very fancy animals, aren't they? They're all either wearing bow ties or bows in their hair. We've got a whole animal orchestra going on here, don't we? So turtles toot and hippos hoot. Cool koala plays the flute. And look, he's got a parakeet friend. The pretty blue belly. And there we go. There's another one of those red bow ties. They have matching red bow ties. Here's my favorite animal in this book. It's the crayfish, which is like a little mini lobster that you find in lakes and streams. So maybe you've seen one of them. If you visit the lake or creek here in town. Crayfish croons catchy tunes. So crayfish is singing. I wonder what he's singing. All of these instruments sound kind of jazzy to me. So maybe they're singing a jazz tune. Crab and lobster play the spoons. Did you know you could make music with spoons? 
looks like they've got two of them and they're holding them so that the cupped part of the spoon is together and then I think they're clacking them together. Tiger thumps and cart horse clumps. He's using his hooves as a musical instrument, kind of like a set of drums, two different ways of drumming. And gerbil jumps on camel's humps. He's dancing back and forth on those two camel humps. Violins under chins of penguins. Wagging tails. Two, two pianists playing the piano there. A very fancy white grand piano. They are wagging their tails in time to the music. And look, the fish in the fountain are flapping their fins in time to the music. So they're dancing too, kind of like gerbil and camel are dancing. Oh my gosh. I think that's everybody. Look, you can see the shadows of all of the instrument playing animals in the background. And here we see who they're making music for. I think it's for kids like you. All the kids are out here dancing around, turning in circles and clapping their hands, all different ways of dancing and all different kinds of kids too. Let's see if we can find all of the animals that we saw in the earlier part of the book playing in the orchestra just by looking at their shadows. Right here next to us, I see those three turtles tooting on their trumpets. Do, 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 do. And who do you see behind them? Yes, big yellow cart horse clumping with his hooves. And in front of them, I see the two bulldogs playing the clarinet. Who's behind them? Yeah, I think you're right. That's the turtle, or not the turtle, the tiger with his big drum. There you can see his tail curving up behind tiger's tail. And we don't want to forget our first animal there's the hedgehog. You can just see his little green prickles here. He's humming. Then, who's this guy behind the tiger? Yep, that's the bear playing the drum set. And then we've got the bison playing the bass. Crayfish who croons. So he's singing the words to the song. Then, let's see here. These guys are a little hard to see, but I see their instrument. I see the top of the piano open here in the shadow. I think that's those two dogs playing the piano and wagging their tail. There's Camel and Gerbil jumping back and forth between the, his friend's humps. We've got lobster and crab playing the spoons, clicking and clacking away with their spoons. Those two hippos playing the saxophone. Koala playing his flute. And there's his budgie friend. I bet you that budgie friend is whistling along with the flute. Parakeets like to whistle. And I think we're almost at the end of our animals. Do you see the penguins playing the violin? Yes, right up here in the corner. One, two, three violins under the chins of penguins. And then we've got our squirrel strumming his guitar. All together, all those animals make an awesome dance band, animal music by Julia Donaldson and Nick Sherratt.
I hope after hearing this, you will put on some of your favorite music and have a dance party just like those kids at the end. Those bunnies that we said, heard saying hello at the beginning of story time, they are back. They just wanted to wave goodbye to you with their bunny ears. Thanks for joining us for story time, and we will see you next week. And the bunnies are going to say, goodbye, library friends. Here they go. What are they going to do? That's right, they're going to hop off stage. Here we go. Hop, 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 hop. Away they go. Goodbye, bunnies. Goodbye, library friends.